Hello everyone and welcome to the final game of the Mega Man Zero series. I started this game uh, at least uploading on May 6th, 7th, and now it's time we finally start finishing this series off with Mega Man Zero 4! Released back in 2005, this game is turning 8 years old! Now easy mode the, is easier, but you can't get the EX skills on it, so I have to play on normal mode. Is that a blueprint of classic Mega Man or X, and, or is that just me? The Reploids. They were robots designed to look like humans. These technical marvels were given unique personalities and were intended to be the perfect workers and the perfect partners for mankind. But the wheels of peace between Reploids and humans were beginning to grind to a halt. The Reploids were well designed, perhaps too well. Their humanity began to sow the seeds of rebellion. The rebels were labeled mavericks and feared by their human masters. Oh, hi, Omega in the background! The humans decided to pit Reploid against Reploid. That was the fate given to them. The Reploids fighting for humanity were never given a choice. Thus the war of machines began and the humans just watched. Dun 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 dun! Dun 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 dun! War begot war, and time passed. Even with the construction of the utopian human city, Neo Arcadia, the war dragged on. The Mavericks defeated the leader of Neo Arcadia, and now Neo Arcadia is under the control of the criminal Dr. Vile. The former utopia is now only a shadow of its former glory. Many have started to flee the city. We are one of those groups fleeing from the clutches of Dr. Vile in our caravan. And, now normally in Mega Man, you never get to see the humans, but everyone on the caravan that we're about to see fleeing in a couple of seconds... Uh, uh, yes, the tree is a human! <gasps> Plot twist! But, this is the first game in the series, or, well not the first, but probably one of the first, where we get to see a huge flock of humans. Everyone in this caravan is human. Which is very, very rare. <laughs> And what the... what the heck were those? Yeah, sadly, the Pantheons, the blue guys from the first three games are no longer enemies. Ah, I should have grabbed a faster car. Nice, they're catching up. I know, I know. This is as fast as it goes. Shoot, Dr. Vile's trying to bring us back. So yeah, the, these are the replacements for the Pantheons. What the... Suddenly, Red Man! With his long, flowing, blonde hair of badassery. Looks very round there for some reason, I'm not sure why. Zero, can you hear me? The enemy is heading for the caravan. Help them. Understood. Commencing mission. And thus the red man returns. CL, I'll need some help with the trailer. Oh, come on, you can probably make that with a dash jump. And mission begins, but first, switching around some options. Now, no, now, this is actually the first game in the series where you don't have a rod-type weapon. You only have the Z-Saber, the Buster, and the new Zero Knuckle. The Zero Knuckle is actually a very interesting weapon. If you finish off an enemy with it, a majority of the time, you can grab their weapon. Like, I just grabbed that guy's gun. And this leads to a lot of possibilities, because almost every normal enemy has a weapon that you can steal from them. Which comes in a lot more handy than you'd think, actually. The Zero Knuckle also actually has a couple other things, that, abilities I'll be able to see later on, like, uh... What's it called? Gra grabbing onto poles, hanging from stuff, fairly simple. Pressing the select button will discard the current weapon that you have, Switch, so keep that in mind. There is still no le weapon grinding, thankfully, but uh, there's also something else missing, uh, but we'll get into that later on. It has to do with the Cyber Elf. Keyword, Elf, not Elves. Now certain, en now, certain weapons that you get from enemies will have an ammo count, but others will have infinite amounts, which comes in handy in the final level, because I'll always use a certain weapon against him. Zero. I'm detecting heat signatures. Zero, dude, something's coming. Bring the trailer cl cl closer. I'll take care of it. Gotcha. Whee! I still want to know what this, would, this game would look like in full 3D. That would be awesome. Devil May Cry Mega Man Edition. 
Whoa, they're going all out with this intro. Mode 7, or more like sprite rotation, more than likely. <whistles> Soundtrack is kick ass, by the way. Although, for some reason, the phone interrupted me once more. Now, there is actually something you can get up top if you slice this guy right there in half and grab that hook, but I. I almost never been able to do it. But now it's time for the first boss. I highly recommend you start off with the Z-Knuckle. Because if you see those blue cords, you can actually pull them off with the Z-Knuckle. That's it. The Z-Knuckle is a huge gimmick of the game. And once he's done that, one of his attacks, one of his more powerful attacks is actually disabled, so you can take him down a lot easier. And done. First boss, as usual in a Mega Man game, pathetically easy. Laser! Laser! Now, I was, now, the reason I'm not speeding through this is because you might notice that there is a new thing added. Normal, or weather, because Elf has changed as well. We need a hero! How many times have I referenced that song? Oh, yay, this song. Looks like everyone's okay. I'm surprised to see someone crazy enough to drive out here in the middle of nowhere. Do you always give lectures to the people you save? Well, thanks anyway. Nage, we don't have time for this. Let's go. You're right, but there's time to say thank you. I don't want the rep boys thinking we're ungrateful. Prepare to leave. I'll be there soon. Alright. No good can come up dealing with Reploids. Well, fuck you too, asshole. You're human? Yes, we are. Are humans outside of New Arcadia that rare? Zero! Huh? Zero. Zero. I'm glad yours okay. okay. Looks like the vehicle's okay, too. Thanks to you both. You saved us, Dr. CL. Huh? How did you know... Who are you? The name's Nage. I'm human just like you. I used to be a journalist who traveled the world. That's why I heard rumors about you and the Resistance. That you led the Reploids against New Arcadia. And are supposed to be very dangerous. Dangerous. We're not. I've heard a lot about you, too. I know you were in the Resistance when I heard CL call your name just now. So you're the legendary Reploid Zero. We don't want any strange rumors being spread about us. There won't be. <laughs> I'm just telling you that what I've heard. But others might think differently about than me. I'll be seeing you. It's time for us to get going. Going? Where are you going? If you're human, then why don't you just go stay in the Arcadia? You put all this together just to escape from there? Just stay there? Because we're human? You must be joking! Wait, you don't know, do you? That place has changed. Didn't you see us getting attacked just now? It's terrible. It doesn't matter anymore, human or reploid. It's all the same. Anyone that opposes Vile is treated like a maverick. The evil Dr. Vile who was driven from New Arcadia. He controls all the energy and productive production there, and everywhere all because some hero defeated the leader of New Arcadia. The great sanctuary for us humans is no more. Uh, sorry. But then that means what we did was the humans are afraid of being removed if they oppose Vile, so he rules unchecked. As long as they stay quiet, they stay safe. But who knows how long before Vile decides to get rid of them, too. That's why we fled from that place. We're heading for the settlement in Area Zero. Area Zero? There's a human settlement there? It's named after me? The 
then we'll go with you. Who knows what when Vile will strike next. Well, CL is a human, but Reploids aren't welcome. Especially heroes like you. What's that supposed to mean? The settlement is full of people who were caught up in the Reploid Wars, so they don't take too kindly to Reploids. Humans aren't as strong or as friendly as you might think. I won't tell the caravaners that you're the zero who that defeated the leader Neo Arcadia. Don't guess involved in anything. Talk to you later. That would imply we're gonna meet her later. <laughs> She's a major character. Human, sir. Zero, we should get back to the trailer. It's right behind us. Right. Well, that was exposition. Something about the caravan bothering you. Yeah. I was shocked to hear that all those humans at the settlement hated the Reploids. It's just I've... We've fought for the Reploids so hard, and I didn't know that other humans felt that way. Didn't they say the settlement was this place called Area Zero? That's where we should be heading to. They're struggling to maintain their independence from Vile, and we have to help them. Do what you feel is right. Thanks, Zero. I just needed a little more time. Now might be a good time to drop by servos for some maintenance. After that, come and see me in the commander's room. You mean the room we're in? Oh, before that, I'll save your data. Yeah, for some reason this game gets its own save screen, whereas the other has just had a little menu. <laughs> All saved. I'll be here in the commander's room. If you ever want to store your data, just drop by. Ellipses. Now one thing I find really funny is that if you use the zero knuckle on her, it looks like you're groping her. <laughs> My friend Tom showed me that a few years back. And this is the resistance base for this game. It's rather small, only five rooms technically. Wait, no, four. Room 01, which, room 02, which has a guy that I didn't even show in 03. I don't even remember your name. Sorry, dude. But your hair is not as fantastic as mine. We have Alloyed! Yay! A new elf is coming soon. I've been waiting right... Ah, blah, blah, blah. There's a new elf. It's actually the only elf in the game. There's only one cyber elf in this game. That's weird. And we have the lab. It's time to see Sean Connery again! Hey, Shiro. You're hanging in there. Need a little work? Those dust clouds or something else? No, I'm fine. Alright, but don't overdo it. Did you try out your Zero Knuckles yet? You probably already know, but it's a weapon. Unboarded ship implanted into your hand. It gives you a str big strength boost. It comes in handy when attacking enemies or stealing their weapons. It doesn't work for every enemy. But for the ones it does, it finish just finish them off with the Zero Knuckle to grab their weapon. By the way, what's your next move? Cell's looking into Area Zero. I think the humans there need our help. Looks like you got your hand, your work cut out for you. If there's anything I can do to help, don't be afraid to ask. Oh, I almost forgot something important. Enemies sometimes drop parts. You might be able to use some of those to make new chips. If you want to make, try making one, just let me know. Yeah, I'm gonna use the recipes online. But with that, I'm gonna have to end things off here. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you guys next time on Mega Man Zero Four. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys then.